Hello. I would like to uh, discuss an interesting problem in uh, classical physics. So consider Earth. So this is Earth. I'm plotting Earth. And this is the center of Earth. Now, let's assume that I'm digging a tunnel from one side to the other, a straight tunnel. And I'm standing here, throwing a stone, a rock, into the tunnel. How long will it take? The interesting uh, answer is that it will take 42 minutes and that's irrespectively of the length of the tunnel. So let's see how it works. Um, so in order to understand what's going on, we have to understand the forces acting on, the, on this uh, rock. So the first thing we need to understand is the gravitational acceleration acting on, a, on the rock at a given point. So again, suppose that this is Earth. The radius of Earth is R. The acceleration on Earth is G. Let's calculate the acceleration at a certain point uh, inside R. So it turns out that the acceleration is g r over r. Namely, at r equals zero, in the middle it's zero, at r equals capital R, at small r cap equals capital R, it's g, and there is a linear interpolation. The reason for that, uh, one way to see it, is Gauss law. Um, so the Gravitational acceleration, assuming uh, constant uh, density, grows linearly from the middle towards uh, the radius of Earth. So this is the gravitation, um, gravitational uh, field or acceleration that the rock will experience while traveling. Now, another thing which is important is that Let's see. So suppose that this is the tunnel and we are here. So the rock is here. While the force is towards the center, what's relevant for the motion is only the X component. So let's call that X. What is really important is G tilde X which is the X component of G tilde. And that will be the cosine of the angle, or in other words, um, X over R. So the relevant acceleration for the motion here or here is only the X component of G tilde. Namely, what's relevant is G. Oops. What's relevant is G tilde X, which is uh, G times R over R times X over R namely g over r times x. So now we see something uh, quite interesting. The relevant acceleration is proportional to the uh, to x. That's like an harmonic motion. So we can write it as omega squared x um, 
or in other words, d squared x dt squared equals minus omega squared x. What we see is that we have uh, um, harmonic motion. So the rock will move hence and forth in an harmonic motion. And let's calculate the period. So x of t is, let's say, x naught times um, cosine omega t. And therefore, the period over 2, the time that will take the rock to go from this point to this point, is a pi square root of r over g. And now we can substitute the relevant numbers. We can, uh, r is the radius of Earth, g is the acceleration on Earth, which is roughly 9.8 meter uh, per square, uh, second square. Uh, when we substitute the, all these numbers, we get 42 minutes. And that's irrespectively of the size of this tunnel. So the tunnel can be small or large, and it really doesn't matter what is the length of the tunnel. The motion is always 42 minutes. It will take always 42 minutes from the, for the rock to go from one side to the other, irrespectively of the length of the tunnel. So the tunnel can be one centimeter or 1,000 kilometers, and yet, when we drop the rock, it will emerge from the other side after 42 minutes. So 42 is the answer. It's always the answer. 42. Uh, the, of course, the, I ignore the friction. I assume constant uh, uh, density. I assume a perfect spherical uh, shape, but still it's it's rather interesting that we get the same answer irrespectively of the of the uh, length of the tunnel. It's counterintuitive, but that's similar to the problem of a pendulum. It's really similar because when we have a pendulum and uh, the pendulum uh, swings in uh, harmonic uh, motion, the period does not depend on the amplitude. So it's, it's, it's rather similar to a problem of a pendulum. Um, right, so uh, that's it. The answer is 42.